There are many ways to measure success. For some, a hefty bank account or a position of prestige is a sufficient gauge of accomplishment. But for others, ingenuity and perseverance are the ultimate barometers. Negros Occidental is the saccharine central of the Philippines and home of the industrious Negrense. For years, the province has carried the title of Sugarland. Acres of sugarcane fields blanket the region. Coupled with an efficient pool of manpower, this jewel agent of man and nature has granted Negros Occidental a prominent position in the world of agriculture and industry. This pursuit of growth is personified by the productive spirit of Bagua City. Bago sits at the base of Mount Canlaon, the highest peak in central Philippines. The history of Bago embraces the long days of life on a farm. The city belongs to a province that has long been recognized as one of the country's largest producers of sugar, and for years plantations covered much of the land. Affluent families of Spanish and French descent controlled much of these estates, cultivating the province's rich soil with sugarcane and other profitable crop. For years, these landowners known as Hacinderos tilled much of the area. Their power extended beyond the fields to the sugar mills of Negros Occidental. The lives of many of the locals revolved around these plantations until land reform offered them autonomy and the right to grow their own crops. Today, the old plantation houses are merely ghostly reminders of the city's past. In the 40 years since its establishment as a first-class city, Bago has steadily evolved into a center for growth and development. The locals have portrayed a need for advancement that has manifested itself in the profitable dealings that continue to mushroom throughout the city. A source of the people's pride lies in the produce known as Moscovado. Moscovado is the powdered progeny of molasses, born from the endless fields of sugarcane that traverse Negros Occidental. Truckloads of raw cane make regular trips to a processing factory located in Bago City. Known in the Philippines as mascobado, this form of unrefined sugar has carved a niche in the sweet tooth of Europeans who place great value in its organic qualities. The production of mascobado entails a simple and traditional method using fire and liquid. Raw stalks of sugarcane are first subjected to a chamber that crushes the crop into a juicy pulp. The pulp is further squeezed and cleared of impurities before boiling it in a large vat for about four hours. The time it takes to boil the cane juice is dependent upon the quality of the crop. The better the quality, the faster the boiling time. The sugarcane must be fresh in order for the process to be a success. Hydrated lime and coconut milk is added to the mix, the former to facilitate cleansing and the latter to add taste. The boiling produces a thick syrup which is then transferred onto a dry bed to be mixed. In keeping with tradition, the mixing is done completely by hand. As the syrup cools, the constant mixing breaks the concoction down and prevents it from hardening into blocks. The end result is the familiar light brown granules of muscovado. Each month, about 500 tons of muscovado is manufactured, with 80% of the sugar destined for export.
Besides produce for the sweet tooth, Bago City also benefits from the salty flavor of Mother Nature. Spread throughout a flatland by the city limits are the salt beds of Bago. Although the wet season sees the area teeming with fish pens, the dry months allow the locals to make use of the land to harvest salt. Every morning, makeshift clay frames are molded onto the ground and covered with plastic sheets. A shallow pool of salt water is poured into each square. As the sun crosses the sky and the light begins to wane, evaporation works its magic, replacing the water with crystals of raw salt. The salt is then scraped together and sold at the local market. This ingenious way of utilizing the gifts of Mother Nature is one of the main factors that have contributed to the city's agricultural success.